for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. Princes to act and monarchs to behold the swelling scene, then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and it is at his heels laced in like hounds should famine, sword and fire crouch for employment. But uh, pardon gentles all the flat, unbrazed spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so vast an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? May we cram within this wooden O the very casks that affright the Aradashian court? Oh, pardon. <laughs> but since a crooked figure may in place a, a, in place a test a million, let us uh, ciphers to this great account on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdles of these walls are now contained two mighty monarchies, whose high uprear and abutting front the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hoofs of the receiving earth, because it is your thoughts that now must deck our kings. Carry them here and there, leaping your times, Turning the accomplishments of, of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me a chorus to this history like who, prologue like your humble patience, pray gently to hear, kindly to judge our play. <laughs> <laughs>